Hello viewers and welcome to Let's Play Civilization 4 Horse Archer Rush Edition. I am the Mian team, your host. And we're going to see what happens with this forces in Susa. There's also a force of four metal units down here somewhere. Alright, fortunately they were not in that city. Which now I can actually pillage the roads here and they don't have a direct route to hit me. So I have a tactical advantage there. And otherwise... I'm just going to try to build up some for horse archer forces and see what I can do. Probably want a medic of some kind. Really not sure how to go about it. I guess I could just do a chariot medic until I get a great general. Or perhaps even after I get a great general. But um, some healing now would be pretty handy. Fine, I'll make a throwy horse archer to do just that. Not ideal, but... You know, lots of things aren't ideal. Man, Immortal is like a freaking cakewalk after Deity. No doubt there. Alright, nothing too stuffy in this Aztec city so far. No, I don't want to Confucianism. The Germans would like me for it. But impressing them is not the priority for the moment. Yeah, actually. I'll make that trade. It's a useful a trade. Multitude of rulers is not a good thing. Let there be one ruler, one king. Now, what else? What else? I have uh, currency and monarchy. I really only need code of laws now for the trifecta that allows you to expand indefinitely. Alternatively, I could research feudalism for vassalage, being able to capitulate AIs, and more funsies. And since I have such high commerce, I'm going to do that. And yeah, this horse archer is just going to sit here. Ah, he used up his move. I could easily pick that archer off, although I'm not sure it's... Oh, what are you doing? I'm not sure that's worth it, because he'd probably have something to revenge kill. And that would suck. Yeah, Montezuma would have jaguars, no matter what I deny. But jaguars are not huge threats to horse archers. I mean, maybe if you're defending in a city or something. But in general, not so much. No, no not really. Okay, well now that archer needs to die. Because now that archer can be killed very easily. There's Tenochtitlan. Um, yeah. Let's take a random horse archer. And cut them to pieces. Nicely done. One, two, three. Yeah, I can get within reach of Susa in one turn. From uh, Jerkbana. Ubi jerk Bana. Lol, 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 lol. Yeah, dude, you suck. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Super Medic would certainly help me improve my pacing of this war. But I'm going to want some momentum to carry, especially since I'm going to be attacking some hill city. Oh, God! Hmm. You know what would be unpleasant is getting pillaged by that. <laughs> okay, then. I guess I'm going to hold off for a bit. Oh, well. It's not exactly surprising. Got an axe and mortals. I'm not sure if I'm comfortable attacking out of that right now. These guys chose a rather interesting path. Hmm. The spear can't attack me yet. And none of this is going to have winning odds. I think I'm going to leave these guys right where they are. Just to see how he responds. Really? Fine. No, not really good trade for me. 
This is definitely an interesting thing. I think he's doing that strategy where they just stand in one place and choke. Well, quote-unquote choke. So his spear ran back. I'm really curious what's actually in Susa. Where's my throwaway medic? Here we go. Um, that would be, probably be a little on the rough side to deal with that. We're going to whip a granary here. Oh, we have a granary here. Well, whatever. Hmm. I have a feeling I know how this is going to end. Alright, back into the city. Scout out what we can. And roads. Huh. How about you, Brennis? I just, you know, Montezuma's almost certainly ignoring worst enemies to hit me. Oh no, he is furious with Darius. Does he, uh, is he a land target to them? Hmm. There's one way to find out. Nope. Well, okay. Hate to do this to you, Monty, but you don't leave me much choice, do you? Hey, Alex. Fine. Hate to do it. Hate to bring the. I hate to feed the Celts this many techs. But. I just don't trust Montezuma. I'm sorry. Might as well trade what else I can get for it. I'll take that. And them that take the sword. And what else should I do? <sighs> Let's fling, uh, fling some more fun around. Hey, hey. Give a man a fish, and you feed him for from a day. Foes. That's how it is, friend. Montezuma. I'm the going to ruin the world. Of building high walls. So who's left? He could have been bribed too, but I think metal casting was more useful. Or fruitful, if you will. If you will. <laughs> Go to hell, world. Huh. Sure. No. Well, that was certainly an interesting uh, exchange. Very tense turn there. Somehow we're alive and well for the moment. Didn't take too many losses in this city. Do I have a barracks here already? I do. I mean, not a barracks, a uh, granary. Yeah, Darius is just going to keep those forces there. Some of those weird AI strategies. Where it chokes you. Sort of. Um, wow. I don't get winning odds like that. Where's my withdraw, dude? I withdraw. Ha ha ha. Shock would probably be better. Cancel out some of his defensive bonuses. Pretty similar, actually. Screw you, you die. Ugh, six strength. Or point six strength. I'm not gonna leave him in there to die. <laughs> it's a strange world, I tell ya. And 
and the odd the opportunity to backstab Monty if I can somehow take down Darius would be just delicious. But I'd need a way to do it first. And rotting in this city healing up is not the ideal. What kind of hammer tiles am I working really? Nah, not too much. Alright, I will go up a granary there. I'm gonna need one eventually. And that'll bring me... Ah, I didn't mean to do that. But, okay, sure, sure. Whatever. I even went up here. Does that surprise me? No. No, not really. What do you have to say for yourself? You'll give me gold for peace. That's totally unacceptable! I'm gonna be like an AI. Screw you. Well. Okay. I think it's about time I started rallying troops here. Oh no! Cultured. Well. <laughs> like I never really hooked that up again. At least have a chance there now. Might as well just keep cottaging things. And I suppose I'll chop, because I intend to get that back soonish. And what have I here? Wow. I think for the combat axe I will attack with a flanking horse archer. Very nice. Now the archer comes up as a top defender or an axe alternating depending on what I attack with shock or um, combat three. Getting winning odds with horse archers, which is very nice. It's why I like them. There we go. Now I can use a medic for real reels. An immortal is not doing so hot against horse archers. His ability to reproduce spears has been removed. Unless somebody's trading with him. But considering the amount of war going on... <laughs> probably not. Probably not. And, uh... Excellent. We'll just run in there with our horse archers. Where's my great general? Actually, that's not bad. I can run a chariot up here. And shop. Actually, whip. As well. Okay. How about that? Let's get this hooked up. So the Aztec have been mostly scouted. I might as well just go down here. Yeah, if I can rush out with both Persia and Aztec with horse archers... <laughs> I'll be happy. I'll have a tremendous amount of land and a pretty big advantage in the game from that. And he's just going to stay there with those, isn't he? Oh, jeez. Alright, well. In situations where promotions are merited, I'll take them. I want to put a farm on this tile when I get the chance to spread irrigation, so I'm not going to make any improvements there for now. And I definitely need a road network, like so. Alright, we got it. We got ourselves a super medic. The chariot's only slightly worse than a scout, so I'm willing to do it rather than waiting on a scout to come help but now here's the real challenge is um, dealing with these hill cities down here his last two cities I really don't want to leave them especially since Persepolis is very nice gems banana which I can get access to pretty soon and it's got trees although he's chopped some of them it's still it has trees and the trees are amazing. 
Uh oh. What happened here? Oh. <laughs> That's what happened. Alex is doing some work for me, surprisingly. <laughs> Go to hell, world. Uh oh. I was attacked by a Persian archer. Where? Here, apparently. Oh, just go defend the city now, I guess. Not a whole lot else for you to do. Okay. I do have to be a little bit careful about enemy chariots. Attacking Susa. Or I should say immortals. But I think if I stay on the roads, I can interfere with that to an extent. Or reinforce it as necessary. Alright, just get a chop here. Yeah, see, he'll be able to get there, but he won't be able to actually attack the city. Really? That has to be a war bribe or a peace vassal. Oh my god, it's a peace vassal. And he declared on me and Alexander to pull this crap. I don't know where that immortal went. I was going to whip an archer, but that's probably not a good idea. Hmm. Better than nothing. <sighs> there we go. We're going to cause trouble for reinforcements. Now, what is Manus of Musa getting? I'm just going to want to end the war with him as soon as possible. He's got feudalism already. Which, obviously, because he took a vassal. No, not really. At least not yet. Not yet is probably more accurate. Alright, we have four units, one of them damaged, against quite a number of attackers, so we should be alright. I'm going to want some flank guys to lead off, though, because he's got a lot of defenses here, and it's on a hill, so we're looking at some pretty tough attacks in the near future here. Withdraws can be nice. Yeah, it takes forever to heal though, so you definitely want a great general medic for that sort of thing. And now we're looking at a damaged axe, maybe I can consider. No, not quite good enough yet. Maybe after these two. You're doing decently on the withdraws. Um well, that's not too bad of odds. And finally, done and done. Now, is Darius being cheesed any metal from his master? Oh, yes. He certainly is. Well, may as well take out the spear while it's on the flatland. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting to actually kill it outright. I was hoping for a withdraw. But, killing it outright works. I have certainly no complaints about that outcome. Mally is so stupid, too. Like, how does this benefit Mally? How does taking a dead guy under his protection doing any good for him? Oh, wow. Brennus is actually uh, making headway here. Maybe I can peace vassal Monty. Ha! Stupid game. So hopefully Brennus doesn't pick up feudalism anytime soon. We can research it. Melanese only have six cities. Celts are up to nine. How are we doing in terms of world land percentage? Mansa Musa is number one? He's even the most cities. I'm fourth in land fighting my way out of it. Well, okay. <sighs> Might as well see what's going on down here. 
barring any other things I can do for the moment. I gotta say, that really pisses me off, because it's, it's a setback, and it's a useless setback. For both Mansa Musa and me, that does nothing of use. It doesn't help his position at all. I'm not even the dominant Civ in the game, neither is Alex. So basically, Mansa Musa is slowing down his own position to protect somebody that isn't really even going to help him out. Like, what are you going to get from this peace vassal deal if you're Mansa? Nothing. You're going to get a war, and war you're not even prepared to get. It's a terrible mechanic. I hate peace vassal so much. Mally killed my spear. I will to my lord be true and faithful, and love all which he loves, and shun Whatever. all Whatever, let's go for calendar. Yeah, it's gonna take a couple turns to heal there. Is he in the talk yet? Oh, I don't want a cottage there. No, sir. You go down and work on the new territory, and Alex is going to cause me culture problems, isn't he? I should stab him. Now he's a relatively minor threat. Can I convert to Taoism? I can. Who would like that? Persia would like that. And certainly Alex would like that. Aztecs would not like that very much, neither would Germany. I don't know, I think I should just stay religion neutral in this scenario. Well, hello to horse archers. Your master's been gifting you techs. Obvious is obvious. Dogpiling slash cheap AI is obvious. Yeah, I said it. It is ridiculous, though. It's so bar it's so f messed up. Here, have stuff. I'm gonna protect you. you can't Screw up my own diplo. You can't adjust your sail. Screw you too. Ooh, Montezuma took his city back. Mm. <laughs> he gifted him longbows! If it's the last thing I do, I'm going to wipe Mansa Moose off this map. Longbows? Really? Just to slow down a person who's not even in first? Here, I'll wall off any counterattack possibilities, I think. This is not on roads. And he's fighting with Alex. I should probably get away, though. <laughs> any last cheat words? Ah, oh, he got a horse archer. So long this. Oh, it's stack attack on. That's news to me. Should be careful with that. Um. No damage! Despite ignoring first strikes. You try. And die. No damage, either. I'm out of uh, withdrawers, aren't I? Hmm. Let's cut stack attack for a minute. The one thing I don't like about these guys... Uh, as medics, is that they can attack and die <laughs> if you uh, are not careful. Even the axe revives unscathed. Ridiculous. Unbelievable. I had to take it with my freaking great general medic chariot or I wouldn't take the city. 
Any other ways you feel like cheating game? Oh, I'm sure there are. No need to ask. Actually, yeah, I'll go with that. Now I just want to talk to the Mally. Of course he won't. Combat 4 isn't bad. And I still have a decent number of horse archers. I'll take morale here. Yeah, he can't reach that in one turn. I'm just going to heal up here and try to get a preemptive strike on the Aztec. <sighs> Probably not the best to come through that direction. Aztec is metal up the wazoo. Who are the Germans plotting on? Or are they at war with somebody? Oh, Alex. Okay, well, everyone's at war with someone. Please tell me I can reach. I can only attack him. I refuse to talk to you. Well, well, well. What have we here? We're gonna have to whip. Emergency whip. He is attacking across the river onto a hill. I should get at least one kill from this. And if I'm as lucky as the frickin' AI, I'll get two. <laughs> of course it's Aztec. Yeah, he opted not to attack. How about that? I'm not giving you another chance. Suck more whips. As you try to steal my workers. Oh, that's better than just taking the city on some ninja odds, I suppose. If I had to pick between the two, I'd pick not getting shafted by RNG screw. But seriously, he's done nothing, so it's freaking talk. People who don't talk tend to sink. I need to hurry and get to Montezuma, or at least his elephant city, before he has those, because those are even worse than aggressive axes. Those things are horrible. <sighs> Chop. Remove jungle. Everything there is a season and a time. And now I have to work with the mouse screw up. Heaven. Come on, game. Come on. You can do it. You can scroll in. I know you can. There we go. Ah no. Failure. <laughs> well, I guess I can just ignore that for now. He's not gonna get through the two axes there with what he has available. This one's going to be settled near you, sir. This one's going to be pony, please. This one's going to be pass my guard onto Mansa Musa. Or no, how about this one? Bent over fortress. Or fort. Okay, that's fine too. It gets the message across, doesn't it, game? And Mansa, of all people, taking him as a master. Do me a. F no. <laughs> Hmm. 
So if I could get to there, that would cause him a lot of damage. <sighs> Taking out the Jumbos would be a huge hit to him, though, before he gets to those. Or do you want a Peace Vassal? Vassal State. You're not doing fine on your own, nub. Part of losing a city to Brennus is fine on your own. You know you want to join me. Haha. <sighs> yeah, I'll open borders. Because maybe, just maybe, I can get a strike from uh, Malanese land on Montezuma. Yeah, it looks like it's possible. <laughs> yeah, fighting the Mali would be unfun. That's Alex's problem for now. <laughs> I don't want to deal with it. Finish the plantations, get happiness. Yep, you just stay at war with him, Alex. No, Greeks were actually useful to me. And looks like um, Alexander and Brennus is a religion on RUP. Okay, so it's uh, Taoism, which is actually reasonably well represented in my cities, and I should consider um, spamming infrastructure of that nature. Once I finish these wars. Troller luller. You know what? Go for it. <laughs> Let's not even check. Let's just go. Oh god. No, that's not too bad. Considering that most of these defenders are chariots. Uh, Jaguars can be a little rough, though. There's certainly no worse than axes on defense. Ha! Instant fail. Just add water. Oh my god, did I just win at 3% odds? Well, okay then. And I'll uh, not withdraw at reasonable odds. It's a funny game, viewers. It's a funny game. Wow. Instant fail. And I should probably uh, flank, or uh, try the flanking promotion on this Jaguar. Alright, I did get a withdraw. I'll just use high combat to deal with the chariots, um, to the extent that I have high combat. <laughs> yeah, apparently not. Apparently I'm going to go with some limited... Well, that made up for that 3% win, doesn't it? Can I trade for construction? And on the pedestal, these words appear. My name is Ozymandias, no way. king of kings. Look on my there we go. Mighty and despair. That's better. More forces with horses next turn. <sighs> I was gonna say, I should be able to move there with the help of construction. But let's just hope this first strike does well enough for me. Get that banana hooked up. How many cities am I up to? Just seven. So in order to match the Celts, I'll need to actually beat Montezuma pretty soundly. Uh, 
I just want axe up here. Okay. And apparently he's not too threatening in the city. I can just take him out with a combat or archer. Probably. There we go. We even got a worker in the deal. Two workers in the deal. One from the previous turn as well. Very nice. So the losses there were not too bad. Just drop an archer there for defense. And build a road right away. Because if I get a road there, I'll be able to pretty much vault up to the next city reasonably easily. Don't need any monuments because I'm creative. I could have sworn I had this on four. Yeah, well, I'm creative and there's religions in these cities. A lot of these cities are not on hills. It's also very helpful. What am I doing here? 2% French. Well, I guess Thebes is like his second city or something. <sighs> am I industrious? I am. Ah, right. We're just going to spam culture there. That's pretty much the only city I have right now that's under culture problems. Although certainly these cities can become... Well, this one's got a little bit as well. So I think I guess I'll just do this here as also. Actually, these Taoist buildings are a pretty big draw regardless because of the AP hammers. And let's check the uh, situation here. Okay, so he's already got Feudalism as well. So my window for horse archers is running dry. Montezuma is pretty much it. After that, I'm going to have to convert uh, to an economy approach. Still, a double rush on Immortal is solid. No! No, he's annoyed to with bring me. About the rule of righteousness it's ridiculous. So that the strong should not harm the weak. I have enough on my hands right now, Manny Musa. Idiot. So, not too many people running with civil service. It would certainly be useful to me. I might as well get it. Three turns to heal. Who's going to take three turns? Oh, you. Well. Everyone else is going to heal in one turn, so you're the odd man out. You're just going to sit there on defense. Finally, some newbie things back in my grasp. Um, yeah, I can get within striking range from either city on the following turn. So that's good. Probably want to hit here, and then from here, threaten to Noctilin. Maybe he'll capitulate after that, but if not, I'll just keep taking cities until he does so. Or uh, maybe I'll kill him off. No. Oh. Suicide catapult. Okay. Can't say it bothers me. You want to throw away your cats? <laughs> Had to uh, kill a captured worker I captured off of him, no less. That's fine by me. Look at how few of these cities are on hills. I should maybe even bribe Kelsha out of the war. What do you want for this? He'd like peace facile his, his way in or something. Uh, I don't think so. After I take the Noctilin, I might want to bribe him out of the war, so I'm going to have to be careful with that. You're a good flanker. You flank. Attack on the flanks. Hee hee hee. Two spears defending the city. Oh my. And more on the way. Oh no, these are jaguars and axes. Hmm. Rather inconveniently placed for me, however. Hey, I redlined the spear. Very nice. I always lose my combat four guys, apparently. And then I get another one. I said, and then I get another one. <laughs> Quit playing with the odds on me, game. Mm, 
great. He got a great general. If he were talk, I would cease fire abuse him. But since he won't, oh well. I guess these guys can take shock. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You know what? There's no real reason. I'm just uh, put my chariot there instead. Whoops. That is not the result of a control click. This is. Control click. What? Thank you. Wow. Some really sticky controls. Is that what she said? Possibly. It's not the good kind of sticky controls, though. I don't know where I'm going with this. I know I'm getting hosed by the user interface. That I do know. Is this a road? Yeah. Okay. Road right there. We'll be good. Good to go. So one day I might build something other than a horse archer. Just need to check what's going on here. You're the only person on my borders. Oh no, Manso would be on my borders also. And he's got newbie fence! <sighs> so cheap, so cheap. Kelsha's at 10 cities. I'm the only one who's captured and held an Aztec city, so I'll be angry if he caps to Kelsha. But it certainly can happen. Good, I have two defenders there. So one random chariot's not going to pick me off. He needs at least two random chariots. Two. Uh, uh, uh. Not that he can't come up with those, but... It'd be a little harder than one random chariot, I suppose. Talk to me. Communication is a big part of having uh, worthwhile, fulfilling relationships, Montezuma. But only if you do what I want you to do. <sighs> I'm not sure it's really worth capping him. Might just kill him off. Try to work with the uh, culture that way. It's okay. Well, this iron is right on his borders. Um, getting him, removing his access to spears would be useful. Wow, why are you so angry? Even though we have mutual military struggle and open borders. Here, I'll trade you for happiness resources. Be my friend, Brennis. I like Irish beer. Isn't that close enough? I'll buy you around, maybe. <laughs> well, the Mali better not peace vassal this guy. It'd be like insane. It could happen, but probably won't happen. I'm tempting fate, I realize. But another reason it probably won't is uh oh. Changing plans. Really? That's still not enough to get him to flee east? No. I can't do that. I need to scout the alley out. this catapult before it attacks me. Oh jeez. That's gonna be decidedly unpleasant to deal with it. Go. Oh, oh wait, no, you belong there. Whip. I need some culture. Especially because the Sistine Chapel is probably going to be built by like Mansa. Actually, there's really no one that can build it where it would be a good thing for me. Ah, you were 
were tricked. Actually, that's a good point. I might be able to um, trick him out of there. We're going to use an old trick. One of my personal favorites. We're going to threaten the other city to suck some of these units out of the city. And then hope for the best. Um... Yeah, enough of these guys are promoted. It's not like you'll be able to trail me easily anyway. Yeah, let's all vote for Brennis. So, okay, what we do here, take a sentry. We might as well put him here. Now, what we're looking for is the uh, Aztecs to pull their units out of Tenochtitlan. Yeah. Because then I can kill them more easily. I mean, I could just take the other city now, but... That's not very appealing by comparison. So who's not at war? Kalsha, Mali. <laughs> Who are the Greeks fighting? Nobody. I can guess who they might be fighting soon though. But just in case, I'm in a position to make a request. Could you spare this for a good friend? Yeah, so I want to see some units on some of these tiles. Well, that got some of them out of there. Come on. Someone full health, please. Still a lot of dudes. Uh oh. Maybe I should just hit. Oh, that went decently. Okay, that went like absurdly well. I don't want to capitulate him with just this capital, though. Hmm. This horse archer is so screwed. Well, that's interesting. Not really what I was going for, but it certainly got him to leave his capital. Hmm. Still a little on the problematic side. Unless I can get three horse archers there. No, I can't really. healed enough? Oh, I'm gonna have to play risky. Might pay off, though. Well, I don't know what's up here. He does have his horse up there. Hmm.
Let's play with fire a little bit. Always was taught to adore that. Especially in Heroes 3. Unless you have to flag a bunch of uh, creature dwellings, then you kind of don't like playing with fire at all. You kind of despise it. But that's another time. So these guys are no man's land. They can't attack anything next turn except for the chariot. Um, he can hit my horse archers. These guys can hit my horse archers. Uh, he can duck back into the capital, and the chariot randomly might be able to pick this off. Okay, what exactly just happened? I need to know this. Horse archer. Just killed by a spearman. And the chariot pillaged my tile. Okay. So, take out that spear. Get some unit cycling annoyance. And do I have enough oomph to capture Tenochtitlan? It's a big risk. He has five defenders. Some of them not the best fortified. And, uh, well, he's six defenders. But the catapults will die if there's any units left to attack it. Got some spears in the middle that can cause problems. And there's no time like the present. Pretty big blow to the Aztecs right there. Oh, if I could get him to... Nah, I don't think I really want him to capitulate regardless. That is his metal completely gone. At least for the moment. Huh. Well, alright. I'd say we're off to a good start here. He doesn't have enough in reach to retake this, fortunately. So, um... Yeah, the war against the Aztecs is going okay. And I'll continue it in the next part. Thumbs up if you like the video. The Mean Team, signing off.